Alrighty. Well, all of us has got to sit here, Mr. Expert, fucking carpenter. So let's see what he doesn't know about foundations. And I might talk a little bit on my house and the troubles of this joint, which doesn't actually have any foundations, it just has big rocks. And, uh, yeah, well, lack of gutters in certain areas of, um, oh, you know, have caused problems, but, um, I don't know. It, everything's just fucking moving still. And uh, even where there are gutters, it's still... <laughs> See, they've never been dug very deep. It's just a rock dumped on the ground, and that's never done properly from day one. But anyway, let's hear his analogy, and I'll tell you how it really is. Call trolls out there. Um... Think about this for a second before you go to sleep tonight. Think about this. When a carpenter builds a house, a carpenter builds a house from the foundation up, and little by little, little things are added on. Now, well, actually, usually it's the foundations and, uh, you know, your main floor joists and some of your large joists down below, then the framing and then the trusses on the top. Now, the way I see the troll is in this construction analogy, if there's a troll carpenter that doesn't like the foundation that the construction guy built, instead of trying to improve the build, of the home is really the right thing to do to try to destroy the foundation of the carpenter's home and start from scratch or is it just better to correct the person and uh, help them correct whatever mistake he's making well say there's the trouble right there. First of all, his analogy is bullshit because he doesn't want to correct any mistakes he's making. He just wants to pretend there is no mistake at all. But anyway, aside from that, back to the actual foundation, when you do foundations, they've got to be done bloody correct from the start. Now, that means that if it's wrong, it has to be sorted as soon as possible before you start building everything else. You don't fuck the foundation up and then go and build the whole house and say, oh, well, you know, the trusses are coming tomorrow, so I'll put them on and then I'll correct the foundation. No, 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 no. The foundation is like the chassis on a vehicle. It is the number one. It has to be right because everything after it will be fucking wrong if it isn't right. So, <clears throat> referring to this place again, there weren't actually any holes dug and stumps put in, except for the veranda. Actually, there was some in that, and that's why that's as gun barrel straight as you could fucking imagine. It hasn't moved a fucking inch, because, you know, although a lot of waterfalls near there, and you would think that that might affect it all, uh, which I'll put a gutter in and sort of in part it does, but still, a lot of water has always flowed down there even before I put that gutter on. That part of the house was built sometime... You know, probably be... Oh, hell. What would it be? Probably about... Oh, 04? 2004? Something like that, maybe? Maybe 2006, somewhere around there. Um, you know, it, it, yeah, it might be 03, I don't know. But it was built mainly around that time with brand new concrete stumps. And it is fucking perfect. But see, the rest of it, the foundations were never done right from day one. There's a few that are underneath my kitchen floor that are actually a mashup of well, rocks and concrete. It's, it's more or less big rocks concreted together. And some of those are all right because they were dug a, a bit of a depth. But places like my bedroom where it is a 
fucking mess. That was literally a rock taken out of the paddock, plonked on the ground back in, we believe, about 1897. Uh, and, and that was just no foundation, no stump, no wooden suggest, just literally a fucking rock just plonked on the ground. And even some of the other stuff that has been done in the late 90s uh, on this place, uh, maybe early 2000, well, more the late 90s, you know, maybe 99, 2000, around then, they were just big rocks as well. And, and while some of it, he got a few rocks on top of each other, others, it was literally just rocks. There's some of these rocks I can see straight out through I go in front of where the fucking, where the fridge is there, and I can just look straight under them. I can see these fucking rocks holding things up. And, you know, I can see from even replacing the weatherboards the other day, it, it's just fucking rocks and, and old bricks and shit. Uh, and if you get right in the corner room that I keep all the, um, the sewing room, basically... Um, you can get in the veranda section of that and you will literally see it is literally rocks that have been split fairly square uh, that are stacked underneath the bloody floor joists. But they're not proper. They're never done deep enough and as a result it has affected, well, at least one whole side of the house. Um, you know, and it's, it's a fucking mess. Really speaking, the corner of my bedroom versus where the fridge is, it, it's, the drop is more than a foot difference. You know, you can put something on the ground in my bedroom, and like an aerosol can, for instance. Sometimes they have insect repellent for mosquitoes, and the fucking can rolls along the ground. If you knock it over, it just rolls along the fucking floor. It's a fucking shit of a setup because of bad foundations. Well, the mindset of a troll is... They don't have constructive criticism to try to help a person do better. Yeah, we do, but you never listen to a fucking word of it. Their idea is they have their own blueprint in their head. They don't want anybody to um, succeed. Their blueprint in their head is... Well, in your case, the blueprint in your head is scam, scam, lie, slander, scam, beg, fuck around, praise people up for money, when they stop giving, lie, slander again, you know. They want people to, to fail, um, and they'll do anything uh, or say anything to, to, to do that, so. Well, I mean, when you're scamming, some naive elderly woman out of money and we want you to fail are you trying to tell us that that's a bad thing that we want you to fail while you're just bullshitting and lying your way along and, and whinging and wailing and faking hardship to get money uh, it's a very devious mindset but it's pretty evil so, so. Well, you explain yourself there, very devious mindset, and it's pretty evil and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly where you fit in, you know. What's it been now? Five years on YouTube, at least four and a half years of just just begging for money, not doing any work, okay, maybe for two months there you've done work, but just just begging for cash. And even, you know, before Trump was in, you had poor people in the last two years of Obama where people were living in fucking tent cities and, and things were just shit, you know, and people were just barely fucking struggling along in an economy where the growth rate was below 3%. And, uh, you know, in fact, it actually dropped to half a percent growth rate in the last three months of Obama. And at the same time, while you're an able-bodied, middle-aged man, you're not even middle-aged for fuck's sake, you're in your 30s, you're sitting there e-begging and wailing to people, asking people to give you money. While there's people that have got kids to look after who don't have any fucking money and you're a single man who could work, who has the ability to work, who has very little cost to look after himself, but, ah, oh, fuck the single mums and their kids. Fuck anyone else who's doing it hard. 
fuck that. You know, poor me, help me, fuck me. A lot of people up shit creek and this guy would be fucking whinging and wailing. So he didn't have to work at all. Like, not even casual work. You know. And he might have been able to get it. But even now that he could get it, under the Trump economy, he's not going to fucking even try. Oh, hell no. Why try for? Just, you know, just e-bag and e-bag and make fucking... Oh, my tooth is hurting again every time he needs me. Oh, fucking oh, the old tooth again. Fuck me. You know, dude, same scam over and over and over and over. Coming from somebody with no kids to look after who is able-bodied in his 30s. Right. Meanwhile, you're eating yourself into a fucking coma off the back of help me, I'm in trouble. I'm not going to get into that, but I just wanted to tell everybody what I'm going through here. And No, oh, here we go, you know. Oh, I'm not going to get into it because it's an undefendable position, but I'm just telling everybody that I'm going through, oh, health problems, but I'm not e-begging. That'll be the next word. Now I'm going to go to sleep and... Um... Thank you for the two dollars, whoever that was. I oh, couldn't even yeah. see it. I'm just so weak now. Bit more ear big money. Uh -oh. Yeah, the two dollars comes through. He can't even read the fucking screen to see who it was to thank him. But I'm gonna get some sleep, so. Uh. Please uh. Pray for me, and oh. I'm gonna get some sleep. Oh. Dying and stuff. Dying and stuff. Donate now. Donate now. And, um, I'm going to have to go to the doctor pretty soon, so. Uh, like I said, if you guys don't see me on YouTube. You're probably dead. Uh, it's because I'm sick. And I really am. <laughs> and, um. Hang on a minute, what was that? Uh, it's because I'm sick. And I really am. And I really am. It's because I'm sick, and I really am. So you had to add that just because, oh, what? You haven't, you've been faking so many damn times before. Okay, rightio. But this time, it is real. And, um, that's pretty much all i got to say. So, uh... Have a good night, folks, and may the blessings of I sure be upon uh, each and every one of you. Dying and stuff. As always, from an undisclosed location. Now, I'll tell you what should have happened here. We should have had someone uh, pump out a couple of gunshots again. And watch how suddenly not tired he is and how fucking motivated he is all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be interesting? Wouldn't it just magically, woo, oh, look, I've got energy again all of a sudden. <laughs> anyway, I'm not doubting that he is sick, actually, and I reckon it's diabetes, but he just, you know, like, how many times, he, oh, well, I'm a pre-diabetic, I'm a pre-diabetic, this, that, the other... And just fucking hoeing into the sugar like the world's going to run out of sugar tomorrow, you know? You think, freaking hell. I reckon he might have finally tipped it over the edge, you know? Maybe it's legitimate, maybe it's another bloody sympathy play. But see, at the moment he's got plenty of money, so I don't think it's going to be a sympathy play because it's a sympathy play when he gets low on money. But anyway... We'll find out in due course.